Access approved. As requested, I present a status report on the nanotechnology project. There is no progress, as I'm sure you know. You may not know the extent of the failure and the danger posed by the mutated molecular nanodevices. It is not my place to cast blame upon those who demanded immediate results and would not allow for controls, for the time and care needed to nurture and train our minuscule creations. We designed useful molecule after molecule, then abandoned them to design even more. As each species was set aside, it mutated. With no guidance, no controls, the successful mutations became predators, killer viruses, as you can see. And, as directed, we kept making more. This slide demonstrates the predatory nature of these mutations on a sample of living tissue. Human tissue. We will not continue to produce new killers. Contamination eliminated. Interlock opened. Interlock closed. Warning, entering contaminated area. Viral infection hazard. Contamination eliminated. As you know, our experiment with self-directed nanotechnology was a disastrous success. 
The wee devils figured out how to gather up lab materials and build themselves into killing machines. And then the corpses were lab materials as well, rest their souls. Some of the nanites can fly. The others slide along the floor as if it were a frozen pond and themselves an ice skate. We were forced to seal off the area, and we made a good job of that, I'm glad to say. But a problem, apart from the fact that the sealed area is now filled with killing machines instead of hard-working scientists, is that no one can now get down below to the main Siberia research chamber, which can only be reached by the one elevator. We could not kill them from beyond the walls. Poison gas, hard vacuum, it didn't slow them down. So the nanites are still there, and there's nothing for it but to go at them with a remote probe. I call it Charlie. It has the most powerful plasma cannon it can carry, and an area-wide shockwave device. But a propulsion reactor is a fine piece of work, and very efficient. A good thing, too, for that the weapons are such an energy drain. The camera is a compromise, I admit, but it should give the operator a good enough view, and it hardly weighs a thing. The last thing was the anti-grav module, so Charlie could find the nanites hiding on the ceiling. We had to go for some really weird math to make it work. Weak it is, but it looks to be strong enough for Charlie. Charlie will have to go in and take them all out in one sweep. If even one survives, we would be completely reinfested within hours. We'll take a good operator with hands quicker than mine to guide Charlie through his mission. But it's our only chance.